Hey everyone, it's 2 a.m. It's the middle of the night, and I realize that I don't have makeup on, and everyone's asleep right now. But regardless, I have something on my heart that I want to share. Matthew 7:25. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. Matthew 7.25 There's this passage in my Bible. It helps break down what those verses mean. And it says, When storms come in your life, they may bring sorrow and pain, an illness, an accident, a betrayal. In the midst of the event, your decisions can help save you and your family. Let's face it. Disaster can strike whether you're a saint or a sinner. To survive requires spiritual preparation. When you build your home on the foundation of God's word, you can find safety despite a downpour outside. You can help those you love to weather the storm. Begin right now to prepare your house for the storms that are sure to come. Spend time in the Bible, strengthen your relationship with God, and with a godly community. Bring those you love before God in prayer. When, not if, the tempest strikes, you will have shelter. It says reflect and pray. And it asks in what ways have you already built your life on a firm foundation? How are you preparing for the inevitable storms of life? How will your family benefit from your actions? And I think there's a lot of us out there that don't have this strong foundation, whether it be in relationships, not just your relationship with God, sometimes the foundation that you have may break because if you don't have a foundation of God, I've learned that it's just not going to work. If you have a foundation just on the fact that you love him and he loves you, it's not going to work. You can do everything right, but the storm will come and you will crumble. That's just what I've learned. It's not what, it's not what I think, it's just what I've experienced. I think that if we sit and read God's word, and we pray for each other, and we try our best to live for God, and ask for forgiveness of all mistakes, that relationships can survive, and hearts can heal. Have a good night, guys.